I have to be the first person to get this. Apple is rumored to be giving out golden iPhones to anyone with an iPhone tattoo. I knew what I had to do. Call a professional body paint artist, explain exactly what I need done, and pay her $10,000 for this realistic iPhone tattoo. Then I found the nearest Apple store and was ready to put this to the test. If this actually works, everyone has to subscribe. They went to the back and came out with this. Inside the bag was a golden iPhone box. It's a golden iPhone. This iPhone was so cool. I think Apple should come out with this color. This is my best friend Shutters, and he never drinks water because he only likes to drink sweet drinks. I even tried buying him the most expensive water in the world, and he still oh, won't drink it. Oh, yeah. So today I'm gonna trick him into drinking water. I had to do my research, so I started with asking my dogs for some advice. Then I had to spend hours and hours searching online for some ideas. And finally, it hit me. Bruh. Would you rather drink water or watermelon juice? Watermelon juice, that is. Okay, go for it. Bro, that's fire! What? My boyfriend's acting suspicious. Let me explain. Every time I try to go into his room, he says this. <laughs> Bruh. What could he be hiding? He has been guarding the door and won't leave no matter what I try. Bruh. I'll pay you $10,000 if I can go in your room. No way, what's in my room is worth way more than $10,000. Get out, get out! I can't believe he did that. Whatever he's hiding must be really sus. Could it be another girl? Then I got really sad, but I wasn't gonna give up. So I waited until he fell asleep and snuck in. The only thing I found was a note, and it read, Dear Annie, I'm sorry, but there is something I must tell you. The only way I will is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! He just wasted all of his money. Let me explain. This is Fiji water, and it costs $5 per bottle. And this is regular water, and regular water costs 50 cents per bottle. And my friend Shutters won't stop drinking Fiji water. So today, I am going to put him to the ultimate test. Shutters, stop playing with your balls. Why? Because I wanted to tell you you should drink regular water instead of Fiji water. It tastes the same. No, no it doesn't. Fiji's the best. If you can tell me which one is regular water and which one is Fiji water, you can keep playing with your balls. Bro, that's... I got this. Alright, let's see it. Okay, which one do you think that is? Take a big sip. Oh my god. That tastes like sink water. What do you think? Bro, this is Fiji 100%, bro. This is so good. Did I get it right? No. Uh, oh, Mr. Beast and Jake Paul? Oh, oh. Mr. Beast and Logan Paul. Oh, let's right. go, let's go. Uh, er 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 Eric and... No, er Eric and uh, David Dobrik? Yes! Oh, oh, wait, they look familiar. Zong and Ben Asselar? Cover oh. Guild and Zong. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Ryan Trahan and Ben Asselar. Let's Bro. go. What? Subscribe if you think I'm gonna get the next one right, and like the video if you think that I am. Who is that? Brett Rivera and Unspeakable? No! Brett Rivera and Jessica. What? Oh! oh no. No. My best friend Shutters only drinks Prime Lemonade. So today I'm going to see if he actually likes Prime Lemonade or if he's a phony. So I waited until he went to go play with his balls Bruh. and made my move. I swapped his Prime Lemonade with regular lemonade I got from the store. Subscribe if you think he's going to notice. It was then time to put him to the test. Shutters! Okay, so I have Prime Lemonade and regular lemonade right next to it, okay? Okay, cool. You're going to tell me which one you like better just based off of the taste. That's too easy. I got this. All right, let's start with this wannabe prime. Okay, go for it. How's it taste? How's it taste? Oh, that is not the way lemonade should taste like. We saved the best for last. Some prime. Bro, prime is the best. You cannot beat it. Bro, you are such a phony. He just ruined my life. Let me explain. As you guys saw, I recently got my new play button, but then this happened, and YouTube said, They said the only way they'll give me a new one is if I pass song and subscribers. Wait, talk. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just playing with my ball. Oh, okay. Since you broke my play button, you have to get me a new one, or I'm gonna tell your girlfriend what you did. Okay. First, Zong tried live streaming to his 29 million subscribers, telling people to. Guys, I need everybody to go subscribe to Topper Gill. Next, he opened a kissing booth, offering a kiss in exchange for a subscribe. But nobody came, so the subscriber growth was still too slow. Guys, I need your help. Please subscribe to Topper Gill. Get his new play button. 
I can't believe she did this to me. Let me explain. This is my girlfriend, Annie, and recently she's been acting suspicious. So today I am going to follow her using this air tag. When she gave me a goodbye hug, I slipped the air tag into her purse. It looks like she's headed to Javier's. She's hanging out with another guy. I followed her there and realized it was just the restaurant Javier's. Awkward. Right. As I continue to track her, her location switched to a random street. What could she be doing there? Yeah, I'm so excited for the surprise night. Okay, I'll talk to you later. What? As I waited for her to leave the house, a note fell out of her pocket. It read, Dear Topper, I'm sorry, but I have something to tell you. The only way I'll tell you is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! I can't believe I found this on his phone. Let me explain. My boyfriend Topper has been acting suspicious, so as soon as he set his phone down, I went to go see what was on it. After going through it, I saw this. Do you want BJ's? On my way! So he is cheating on me! As soon as he hugged me goodbye, I slipped an air tag into his pocket to track him. I went to his location and saw that he was just at the restaurant BJ's eating with his grandpa. Right. Oh, that makes sense. But I still felt a little off. So I waited for his location to update and it was at Wendy's? He's at another girl's house. I'm gonna have a word with this Wendy. But when I got there, he was just at the restaurant getting dessert. As I started to realize I'm being overly protective, his location updated to the park. He never goes outside, so this was super weird. As I was watching him, a note fell out of his pocket. Pocket. It read, Dear Annie, I am so sorry, but I have terrible news to confess. If everybody watching likes and subscribes, I'll tell you the truth. Like and subscribe! What's the cheapest thing at the Apple store? Today I'm gonna find out. I started by scanning the store, but everything was so expensive. So I picked up the smallest item I could find. $69? There has to be something cheaper in here. So I looked around and passed by this computer that cost $60,000. Just like it's hard to find something cheap in here, it's also hard to like and subscribe at the same time. I was feeling overwhelmed by the prices, so I had to take a music break. Baby Ah, much better. After no luck, I decided to ask an employee, and he told me that the cheapest item was in the back. So I patiently waited, and $7.99. The day has finally come. As you guys saw, Ben Azalar broke my diamond play button. And YouTube said the only way they would give me a new one is if I passed him in subscribers. Well, I did some crazy things to gain subscribers and finally passed him. And that's when this happened. YouTube was here to hand deliver my new play button. I finally got it back. This thing is my baby and I'm not letting anybody touch So excited, I decided to show my new best friends, Zong and Nick. But then this happened. <laughs> Again. So I called YouTube and they said They said the only way they'll give me a new one is if I pass song and subscribers subscribe. subscribe to help me get my new play button I can't believe I saw this Logan Paul and KSI are rumored to be giving out golden primes to anyone that has a prime tattoo I knew what I had to do Call a professional body paint artist Show her what I wanted painted on And pay her $15,000 for this realistic prime bottle tattoo Just like it's hard to pull this off It's also hard to like and subscribe at the same time After hours, it looks perfect And it's time to call Logan Paul He totally believed it And he asked for my address then I heard this. I excitedly opened the door to find a golden custom made prime box. I rushed inside to open it and found no way a golden prime that tasted incredible. This is my best friend Shutters, and he is obsessed with X-Shot's Hyper Gel Blaster. So today I'm going to surprise him with every single X-Shot Hyper Gel Blaster. Yo, Shutters, what's up? Do you want every single new X-Shot Hyper Gel Blaster? Well, yes, please, I'll do anything. First, you have to give back to the community. Bro, that's easy. Let's go. Next, you have to take out the trash. Okay, bro, anything. <sighs> okay, what's next? Come with me. Third, you have to hit the X with the X-Shot Hyper Gel Clutch Blaster. Yes, bro, give me, give me, give me. If he wins, he gets all three of these. Okay, whenever you're ready. The Trace Fire and HPG 700 blasters are motorized with great power. And the epic size makes it easy to hold. He can have so many tries because of the pellet capacity. He can also hit every target from anywhere using any of these three gel blasters. I got it right here. Because of their epic distance and accuracy. Oh, yeah! Give me the blasters! Let's go! <laughs> Best day ever! Okay, here we go! You got it! Yes, let's go! Can I please do one soft serve ice cream? Perfect. Thank you so much. What? Appreciate it, bro. All right, let's see. Jellyfish? No, not even close. Oh, a burger! You got it! Let's go! One burger? <laughs> this is not a burger? Yeah, it is. It's an astronaut burger. A burger in a tube? That's disgusting! I'll pay you $69 if you do it. Bruh. Okay, deal. 
Wait, this is fire! Bruh. Oh gosh, this feels like poop! Is it poop? No. Oh, is it pie? Yes! Let's go! I love pie! Oh, bro, are you ready? Yeah, bro, I'm starving. Okay, here it comes. In three, two, one. Where? Oh, Steven! Pikachu? No. Wait, a dog! Yes! Let's go! Okay, Steven, here's your puppy! Oh my gosh, I love dogs! My dad will get me a dog. Come on. Yes, let's go. That's going to be expensive, son. Okay, Topper. Here's your dog. Thanks, Dad. I love dogs. What? Topper will give me food. No, no, wait, wait. Are you kidding me? Okay, Dad. Your food is the hottest chip in the world. Cool. I've never tried one. Oh, how is it? Ah! My dad has to get me a Lamborghini. Oh, Yes! Son, here's your new Lamborghini! Oh, wait, Dad, what is this? You never said I couldn't get you a toy Lamborghini! Oh, this is clean! <laughs> Copper will clean the house! No, 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 no! Yes, let's go! He isn't my friend anymore. Let me explain. My friend Shudders just bought a new pair of white shoes. And he is in love with them. He'll do anything in his power to keep them clean. Bruh. Steven, what are you doing? Cleaning my shoes. Mm -hmm. With my black? Bruh, my shoes are more important. Bruh. Shudders has taken this too far. I need to do something about it. Bruh. So I destroyed his shoes using the world's darkest paint. Time to show him his surprise. Shudders, I have a surprise for you. This was his dream come true. Let me explain. This is my best friend Shudders, and he loves vacations. It's so hot in here. I wish it was at the beach. So today I'm gonna be a good friend and surprise him with a vacation. Shudders, you wanna go on vacation? Yes, but please don't do anything. Anything? First, you have to prank someone with this pie. I know just the person. Oh! Shudders, it's me! You didn't say who I had to prank. Oh. Next, you have to wash my balls. Again? Bruh. Wow, Steven, you've gotten good at this. Bro, what's next? Lastly, everybody has to like and subscribe. Guys, please like and subscribe. Okay, Shudders, here's your vacation. A one-star hotel in your bed. Bruh. What? This was the biggest surprise of his life. My friend Shudders loves Barbie and really wants to go see the Barbie movie. But when he went to go get tickets, they were all sold out and he got really sad. So today I'm going to be a good friend and surprise him with a Barbie dream house. Yo, Shudders. Yeah. Do you want your own Barbie dream house? Yes, please. I'll do anything. Anything? Yeah. First, you have to play with Ken's balls. I can do that. But well, why are they so heavy? You're almost done. Woo. All right, come with me. Second, you have to clean the house. Okay. Wow, Steven, you're really good at this. Bruh. Thanks. Okay, Steven, the only way you can see the Barbie Dream House is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Guys, like and subscribe, please. Okay, put this on. Are you ready to see the Barbie Dream House? Yes, yes. Okay, look. I thought you were taking me to a real Barbie Dream House. You still know. He is obsessed with these. This is my best friend Shudders, and he loves donuts. Yo, Shudders, want to go get some food? Bro, I have food right here. Why would I ever leave? What? But lately, he's been super sad because all he wants is a giant donut. So I did some research and found the perfect surprise for him. $100,000 for a giant donut. A giant donut? What do I need money for? Bruh. A million subscribers or giant donut? Giant donut? I don't even have a YouTube channel. PS5 or giant donut? Giant donut? I can't eat a PS5. Bruh. Okay, come with me. Okay, Shutters, here you go. This isn't a giant donut. Okay, Steven, the only way I'll give you the giant donut is if everybody watching likes and subscribes in the next three seconds. Guys, please subscribe. Oh, oh look at it. Oh my God, this is huge. He has a serious problem. Let me explain. My friend Shudders is addicted to Prime Energy. So today I'm going to swap out his Prime with Red Bull to see if he can tell the difference. When he got up to play with his balls, I dumped out his Prime and filled it up with Red Bull. This was a hard task. Just like it's hard to like and subscribe at the same time. I need my Prime. After he finished, he came back and sat down. And... Oh, what happened? What'd you do to this? What do you mean? That's your Prime. It tastes nothing like Prime. This was a really bad idea. Let me explain. I was successfully able to spend 24 hours inside my bathtub. So today, I'm going to be spending 24 hours inside my Tesla. But first, I had to clean it. Bro, I feel like we're in a snowstorm right now. This is so cool. Oh, should I roll down the window? I haven't showered today, so why not, right? Oh, oh, oh. Squeaky clean. Second, I was really hungry, so I decided to get my usual burger dog from McDonald's. Then to pass some time, I decided to watch a movie. After what felt like a really long day, I decided it was time to go to bed. All right, good night, bro. Good night. Wait, how are you gonna use the restroom? Wait, no, 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 wait, no, no. One 
eternity later. Oh, good morning, Topper. Bro, no way! Damn, Topper! Oh, 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 that's Mr. Beast! Oh, how'd you know? Oh, oh no. This is a hard one. Uh, oh, wait, is that Rebecca Samoa? Yes, it is. Let's go! No way! Uh, oh, uh, that's uh, unspeakable. Oh, my gosh! Ooh. Subscribe if you think I'm going to win and like the video if you think Topper's going to win. Oh, oh, no. Wait, is that Salish Matter? Oh, it's correct. Let's go! Oh, uh, uh, oh that's the dancer. Oh, Charlie D'Amelio. How did you get that? Ooh. I watch TikToks. Oh, oh no! Oh wait, is that Brent Rivera? No, it's Alexa Rivera! Oh. These are the best chips, and if you disagree, you're wrong. This or that? Bruh. This. This or that? I love onion rings. Bruh. This. This or that? Anybody else eat their chips this way? Bruh. This. This or that? These are way better than the other Doritos. Bruh. This or that? Oh. Ah, it's hot. This. This or that. Like the video if you think this should win, and subscribe if you think these should win. This. This or that. This is an obvious one. Mm -hmm. Bruh. That. This or that. Got this just in case I need it. Ah. Ah. Bruh. This. This or that. Come to daddy. Bruh. I don't really like the sun. So this. This or that. He just caught me cheating. Let me explain. My goal this year was to eat healthier, but I am always caught cheating on my diet. Bruh. So today, my best friend Shudders is going to help me. Topper, are you cheating on your diet? No, no, this broccoli is so good. Bruh. Topper, are you lying to me? I just love burgers so much. I will only let you have a burger if you do what I say. Okay. No, first you have to play with my balls. Okay. Bro, this is so hard. That's the point. Bruh. Next, you have to do my homework. No! Topper, I got an F! Who spells cow? K-O-W! Isn't that how you spell it? Bruh. The only way you'll get your burger is everyone watching, likes, and subscribe. Guys, please like and subscribe! Okay, Topper, you can have one burger. Okay, here it comes! Bruh. What? That's cheating! No, it's not! He just got the best news of his life. Let me explain. This is my friend Shudders, and he is obsessed with X-Shot Blasters. And today, I showed him this. Are there the new X-Shot Insanity Blasters? Yes, and I'll get you all of them, but you have to listen to me. Okay. First, you have to hit these targets using the Manic and Berserko Blasters. I got this. Let's go, Shudders! Oh, oh this one! This blaster! Oh! Too easy! What's next? Second, you have to hit this moving oh. target using the Mad Mega Barrel and Motorized Rage Fire, which is X-Shot's first motorized blaster that comes with its own 360 tripod. Three, two, one, go! Oh, there we go! On the last! The speed, accuracy, distance, the power are amazing on all four of these blasters. All right, Shutters, I'll give you all the blasters, but you have to hit all types of targets within 10 seconds. Piece of cake, bro, I got this. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! Here you go, Shutters! This is awesome! He has a bad problem. Let me explain. This is my best friend Shudders, and he is obsessed with these nuts. But every time I ask him for a bite, he says, Yo, bro, can I get a bite? No, go get your own. So today I'm going to figure out a way to steal his chocolate. So I got him a ticket to Universal Studios to distract him for the entire day. Bye, Shudders. Bye, Topper. Thank you. Now it's time for me to make my move. I found his secret safe and had to open it. But I couldn't figure out the code. This was going to be impossible. Just like it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. But then I tried his favorite number. 6969. And... What are you doing? These nuts are mine! Are you allergic to nuts? He just made the worst decision of his life. Let me explain. This is my favorite YouTube play button that YouTube gave to me when I got my first subscribe. And today when I woke up to give it its morning kiss, it was gone! So I checked my security cameras and saw that my best friend Shudders traded it for some mac and cheese! Bruh. Shudders, how can you do this to me? You know, because mac and cheese is fire. You want some? No! Bruh. So I started to look for ideas to get revenge on my friend. Idea one, pranking him. Oh! Wait, Steven, how'd you know? Idea two, taking something of his. Give me your guitar! My guitar, no! That's a good thing I have an extra guitar. <clears throat> Bruh. <laughs> Wait, Tucker, are you still upset? I don't have my play button anymore. Don't worry. Everyone watching will like and subscribe to make you feel better. Guys, please like and subscribe. 
he's really jealous of me. Let me explain. This is my friend Shutters, and he's always been super jealous of my mustache. He's been trying to grow one for months, Bruh. but there's nothing there. So today, I'm gonna get rid of his. I'll give you $10,000 if I can shave your mustache. No way, bro. I look too beautiful. Bruh. Nothing was going to get rid of my beautiful mustache. But then he did the unimaginable. Waited until I fell asleep and did the deed. I just gave him the best surprise of his life. Let me explain. This is my best friend Zong, and he just hit 30 million subscribers. I really want to do something nice for him, and then I thought of the best surprise. So I did my research, made a few phone calls, and confirmed it. <laughs> Zong, I have a surprise for you! Really? Yeah, but you have to listen to me. Okay. First, you have to do my chores. Okay. Oh, uh, your room is so messy, Topper. Get cleaning, Zong. I am. Bruh. Second, you have to make me some food. Okay, I guess. Here's the cake, Topper. Thank you, Zong. Wait. This is fake. You never said I had to give you a real food. Bruh. Okay, Zong, if everybody watching subscribes in the next three seconds, you can have your surprise. Please subscribe. Oh. This was a huge mistake. Let me explain. I've been on a mission to pass Ben Azlar in subscribers, and I've done some pretty crazy things to make it happen. I made banners with my name on them to put across some of the biggest landmarks in the world. I've done everything I can think of to spread the word. But today, I am going to do the unimaginable. I'm going to write all my new subscribers' names on my gold 1 million plaque for 30 days only. And I'm going to try and fit as many names on there as I possibly can. Subscribe to have your name on the plaque. My boyfriend doesn't love me anymore. Let me explain. This is my boyfriend Topper and he loves his subscribers. But recently, his subscriber growth has been slow. So he's been really sad. He loves his subscribers more than he loves me. And I was thinking how I could make him happy again. And then it hit me. I need to get him more subscribers. First, I had to make some money so I could buy more phones to subscribe to him. Next, I stood on the road with a giant sign telling people to subscribe to him. But he was still gaining subscribers super slow. Guys, I need your help. Subscribe so Topper can be happy again. How many wood boards can me and Zong punch through? <laughs> That's one. Hey -ya! Like it's nothing. Three boards. Oh! There's no way. Ah! Ow! Five boards. Here we go. Oh, ah! Wait, I'm a friend. Hey, come here. Guess the price and I'll buy it for you. Uh, 20 bucks? That's right. Oh, wait, bro, do I really have to wear this? Oh, baby. <laughs> Shutters, mm -hmm. guess the price and I'll buy it for you. Uh, $69? <laughs> bro, it's five bucks. Bro, I didn't want Spider-Man anyway. Shut up, Shutters, stop playing with your noodle. Bro, I can never have any fun. Bruh. Okay, guess the price and I'll buy it for you. Uh, $17? You got it. I did, let's go. Enjoy your pool. Thanks, daddy, I've always wanted a pool. This is the best gift ever. Let me explain. As you guys saw, YouTube sent me a note that told me if I hit 23 million subscribers within a month, then they would give me a special surprise. And I did it. Then I heard a knock at the door. I went to go check it out, and there it was. YouTube special surprise. So I brought it inside and opened it as quickly as I could. I found a brand new iPhone 15, a bowl of cereal, and a golden mystery box. So I opened it, and it was a custom subscribe sign. This couldn't get any better until I found another note. It read, if you reach 25 million subscribers by the end of the month, we'll give you an even better surprise. Subscribe! 
I just got scammed. Let me explain. I have every single flavor of Prime Crap. except for Ice Pop. So I went to every store around me and it was sold out everywhere. I didn't know what to do until I saw this. Collect all seven Dragon Balls and you get one wish. So I knew what I had to do. Find all seven Dragon Balls and if I do, my wish will come true. It was almost impossible to find these balls. Just like it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. I finally found all seven. Let's do this. What is your one wish? Could I please have one ice pop? Very well. Go home and check your toilet. Okay. So I rushed home as quickly as I could. And... No! I didn't say prime ice pop. Today I'm gonna find out what's the most expensive thing in the dollar store. I tried looking at the first few items I saw, but everything was a dollar and 25 cents. I thought this was the dollar store. As I continued my search, I found this. There's no way this was only a dollar, but it was. After a while, I was starting to question if I was seeing right. So I put on these glasses and still everything was 125. Maybe they were hiding the expensive items in the back. Hey. That didn't go so well. So I decided to ask an employee and she just told everybody to subscribe and i even heard this there is no recording in the back of the store i need to hurry i was starting to give up until i saw this a 100 dollars gift card so i checked out because i just figured it out 100 bucks Woo! topper Bruh. left or right wow left okay time to get your makeup done no all right topper come out hey why do i look kind of good just got way hotter in here hey yo shutters huh? left or right right you get a girlfriend! What, really? So just rate your new girlfriend on a scale of 1 to 10. Bro, 10 out of 10? No, oh, really? No better than my ex. Bro. Topper, left or right? Uh, right? You get a new dog! Really? Okay, here's your new dog. What? But bro, I only like cats! What? Bro. Shutters, left or right? What? Everyone watching will subscribe! What? This is my new best friend, Zong, and we've been doing everything together. We even play with each other's balls. You're so good with your hands, bro. So are you. We've been having the best time ever, but we have a feeling Nick is getting jealous. Yo, guys, can, can I play with you? No, bro, we already started. Sorry, bro. We even saw this. So Zong and I came up with a surprise to make him feel better. Wait, what's that? Can I open it? Only if everybody watching likes and subscribes. Yo, please, guys, come on. Okay, here you go. Oh, oh. Oh. Wait, check the closet? Okay, come with us. Okay, dude. That's your new best friend! Why can't I just hang out with you guys? Oh, uh, we gotta go to a movie. Bruh. Bye, Nick. We'll see you later. Bye! Are you serious right now? It's just you and me, buddy. Hey, yeah. This is the biggest decision of my life. Let me explain. Recently, my roommates kicked me out for no reason. And I had nowhere to go. But then I found this. Looking for a new roommate? I went to the address and knocked on the door. And? Topper! You want to be our new roommate? Of course I did. So they had to put me to the test to see if I would be a good roommate. First, you have to play with our ball. <laughs> okay. Yo, Topper, you're really good with your hands, dude. Thanks, I've been practicing. Bruh. Next, I have to clean our toilets. Oh, I can't that. Whoa, why do you have so many toilets? Dude, just get cleaning! Alright, Topper, you pass the test. But the only way we'll let you move in is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Guys, please like and subscribe! My girlfriend Hannah has been acting really suspicious recently, and I think she might be cheating on me. So I am going to use this air tag to track her. As the day went on, I paid attention to her location and then realized she was at another guy's house. I'm gonna have a word with this guy. Turns out, it was her grandpa's house. <laughs> Oops. Bruh. But as I kept looking at where she was going, I still had a feeling that I couldn't trust her. As the day went on, her location changed to five guys? There is no way I am letting my girlfriend hang out with multiple boys. Once I got to the location, I realized it was just the restaurant. Bruh. But I still had a weird feeling. And that's when I saw she was headed to the park. So I had to see what was going on. And I saw her writing a letter. It had to be to her secret lover. And as she was leaving, Leaving, she dropped the letter and didn't even notice. It was finally time to catch her. The letter read, Dear Topper, I'm so sorry, but I have terrible news to confess. If everyone watching likes and subscribes, I'll tell you the truth. This was a bad idea. I decided I'd ask Starbucks to make me the most disgusting drink possible. I pulled up to the drive-thru nervously and asked, I would just like the most disgusting drink you think you can make me. Are you being serious? 100% serious. I want it nasty. <laughs> what is this? It's okay, so I made it as disgusting as I can. Re I mixed everything that's in here. It doesn't look so bad. It, it looks delicious. Yeah. I also added all the inclusions. She wrote... 
Good luck on it. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most disgusting drink you've ever made, what would you put it at? 12. And now time to try it. Subscribe to give me some luck. Oh my God. What does this say? It's actually really good. Today is the worst day ever. When I went to McDonald's to order an ice cream cone, there was one problem. I forgot I was broke. So I ran back to my Lamborghini and went home. I went to my trash and found all my empty Prime bottles. So I filled them up with tap water. Then I wrote a sign to sell my fake Prime bottles for $100 each. After going outside with my sign, I was getting sales like crazy. Just like it was easy to sell all my Prime, it's also easy to like and subscribe at the same time. I made $69. So I went back to buy my ice cream cone and they said this uh, yeah sorry uh, the ice cream machine is actually broken Bruh. I just broke a world record. The other day, I was going through the record book there and saw this. Alvin Mischitz has the loudest fart on record. And I thought to myself, I can beat that. So I tried concentrating and pushing as hard as I could. And that didn't go as planned. I did some research and saw this. I needed to get all the beans I could find and eat them all to produce an atomic bomb. And nothing but air came out. This wasn't going as planned, so I called the master of farts, and he said that the only way he'll tell me the secret is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. This is what happens if you paint a brand new iPhone 14 Pro with the darkest black paint known to mankind. Since I have nothing better to do, I'm gonna show you guys. Yes. The crazy thing about this paint is that it absorbs 99% of all light and visible detail, meaning that anything that's painted with it will become completely invisible. After the paint dried, this iPhone looked so cool. You could barely even see it. It looked like there was a hole in my hand or something. Time to guess the YouTuber product. Are you ready? Let's go! Alright, Topper, which one is Hershey's and which one is Feastables? Oh, uh, alright, hold on, let me try this one first. Mm, definitely Hershey's, one million percent. No peeking? I, I can't see, I'm not peeking. That one has the Feastables texture. One million percent, that's Feastables. Alright, Topper, which one is Prime and which one is Gatorade? Alright, first one, here we go. Woo! That one is sweet! Next... Prime? Mm. Okay, Topper, which one is marinara sauce and which one is Pizza Feet? <laughs> That one's definitely pizza feet. It tastes exactly like air Hey, yo. Which one is McDonald's and which one is Beast Burger? All right, here we go. Ooh, this one's light. Okay. Is there any water around here? Oh! Beast Burger? Yeah. Let's go. I can't believe Disneyland sells this. Today, I'm going to be trying the worst foods at Disneyland. Starting with this spicy chili cheese churro. It's safe to say this looks disgusting. Disgusting. And it was. Bruh. Up next, we have. Hi, can I just please do Darth Vader's biscuit with the dip, please? The drink looked super weird, and the biscuit looked and smelled like it had mold on it. And let's just say it wasn't my favorite. So then I asked, Hi, can I please do one bucket of the pirate chum, please? I hope this one's better than it sounds. They brought it out, and this one was made. Bruh. Decently surprised. Anyways, moving on. We have one of Disneyland's most controversial snacks. Hi, can I please do one pickle dog? They finally gave it to me and gave me some peanut butter to dip it in. And... Hey, this is pretty good. Three, two, oh. one. Oh my God. Bro, that's gonna hurt. All right, three, two, one. Today I received incredible news. Dunkin' Donuts is now giving golden donuts from their secret menu if you have a donut tattoo. My plan was simple. I called a professional body paint artist, showed her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic donut looking tattoo. Then I found the closest Dunkin' Donuts, and it was time to see if this would actually work. I heard that if I have a donut tattoo like this, I get a free golden donut. Is that true? If this works, everyone has to subscribe. They called my number, and my order came in a special golden bag. And it's a golden donut. He won't leave me alone. As you guys saw, Grimace has been haunting me and said that the only way he will leave me alone is if I reach 22 million subscribers by the end of the month. In order to make this happen, I had to do everything in my power. So I stood outside of McDonald's with a sign telling people the situation I'm in. I got a few subscribers, but then this happened. Food waster! 
You just wasted a shake! Bruh. This idea, I decided to make my own milkshakes to sell them in exchange for a subscribe. But nobody wanted to buy my milkshakes. They couldn't be that bad, right? Bruh. At the end of the day, I realized I hadn't seen Grimace in a while. Maybe he was gone for good. Well, there's only one way to find out, and... <sighs> The only way I'll leave you alone is if you reach 22 million subscribers by the end of this month. Subscribe! I've been able to do almost everything at Millionaire's Mansions by just asking. So today, I'm going to see if I can. Play hide and go seek in your mansion? This was going to be hard because now we need a mansion and millionaires who are down to play hide and seek with me. Hi, can I please play hide and go seek in your mansion by chance? <laughs> You grow up. Bruh. Obviously, these millionaires must have known I was the undisputed hide and seek champion of the world. So none of them wanted to take any L. Not today, sir. No. Until this house. Hi there. Um, can we play hide and go seek in your guys' mansion? I mean, sure. Alright, let's go. Come on. Everybody went to go hide throughout this $12 million mansion, and then it was time for me to seek them. After relentlessly searching, I found the first millionaire. One down. Then I went outside by the beautiful pool and found my friend Sean. Shutters, two down. And then I searched the rest of the house and found the second millionaire inside their own movie theater. Still the champ, baby. I can't believe I found this in a golden safe. This is my friend's golden safe, and I'll stop at nothing to find out what he's been hiding inside of it. He's been carrying it with him everywhere he goes. Bruh. So he's got to be hiding something extremely valuable in there. I knew I needed to treat him something expensive for it if I ever wanted to know what's inside. $10,000 or your golden safe? So what's inside my golden safe was worth way more than $10,000. Okay, Steven, my balls or that golden safe? That's tempting, but my golden safe. Bruh. Oh, how? Prime's new lemonade flavor or the safe? I'll trade you for the prime. All right, you got a deal. Can I open it? Only if everyone watching subscribes. Guys, please subscribe. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, what is this? That's my special sock. Your special sock? Thanks. Bruh. <sighs> Is Logan Paul lying to us? Today I'm going to find out if Ice Pop Prime actually tastes like an ice pop. But I can't just compare a liquid to a solid. We need to turn this Prime into a popsicle. So I got a popsicle mold, then poured the Prime into the mold, and threw it in the freezer. Okay, maybe just gently placed it in the freezer. Bruh. Now we wait. Subscribe if you think they'll taste the same. This is the original Ice Pop. Let's see how this tastes. Bam, bam! Bruh. Now time for the Frozen Prime Pop. Oh, 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 dude, that's so sour, but it's still really good. Hold on. Liquid Prime tastes like an ice pop. Frozen Prime tastes more sour, but it's still really good. I just made his dream come true. This is my best friend Shudders, and he is obsessed with Prime. Bro, have you even had any water this week? Bro, I don't need that. Bruh. So today I'm gonna surprise him with a pool full of Prime. Hey Shudders. Yes, daddy. Do you want a pool filled with Prime? Yes, yes, please. Okay, come with me. First, you have to wash my balls. Oh, that's easy. Wow, Steven, you're doing so well. Okay, bro, what's next? All right, come on, come with me. Bruh. Okay, Steven, next, you have to take out all this trash. Bro, anything for the Prime pool. Good job. Topper, where's the prime? Okay, Steven, I'll make you a deal. If everyone watching likes and subscribes, I'll fill this pool with prime. Like, subscribe! I am about to take a bath for 24 hours. The one rule, I can't leave the bathtub. At first, this wasn't so bad. It was actually quite relaxing. But as time went on, I had the realization I needed to pee. The toilet was too far away, so I only had one option. Hey, at least it's warm. Bruh. I now had to drain the entire tub and fill it back up because for some reason, the tub turned yellow. Bruh. This was becoming extremely difficult. Bruh. Just like it's difficult to like and subscribe at the same time. So I decided to turn off the lights and meditate for the remaining hours to come. And after the entire night in the tub, I heard this. Subscribe because of what I just went through. I shouldn't have tried this. Today I saw videos of people drinking the Grimace shake and wanted to see for myself if it was real. So I headed to McDonald's and ordered it. There's no way anything bad could happen, right? I took a sip and nothing happened, just like I thought. Bruh. After that, I headed home and wanted to get some water. A Grimace shake? Okay, real funny. S someone must be messing with me. I decided to start getting ready for bed so I could sleep this off. But while I was brushing my teeth, this happened. Okay, now I'm going crazy. I got into bed, but then was awakened by this. Did you try the shake? What? I said, are you awake? Oh, 
This isn't real. Who could be at the door? I opened it, and there was a note that read, Dear Topper, the only way I'll stop haunting you is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! I've successfully been able to do insane things at millionaires mansions by just asking. So today I am going to be asking millionaires if I can watch a movie inside their mansion. Hello? Can I watch a movie in your house? Get out, my lord! After many of attempts, no way. No, go away. I was becoming extremely frustrated that nobody was letting me try out my new 3D glasses. But I wasn't going to give up. Can, can I watch a movie in your house, maybe? No. Oh. This seemed impossible, just like it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. Until I came across this. Jack? Can I watch a movie inside your mansion? Sure, let's go. Jack Doherty's house is worth over $15 million with multiple stories, a massive pool, and then he showed me the movie theater. Alright, you can watch anything you want on me. This was perfect. Time to enjoy this movie. This is the best ice cream, and if you disagree, you're wrong. This or that? Ugh. Vanilla. Busting. Bro. Now we got cotton candy. <laughs> this. This or that? Salty. Bro. This. This or that? Strawberry. The prophecy is true. This. This or that? Subscribe if you think coffee should win. And like the video if you think strawberries should win. I have this every morning. This is definitely going to be better. Okay, they didn't add any cream. Bro. This. This or that? I don't even have to taste these two. It's definitely from using cream. This or that? Woo! Mint chocolate chip, baby. Bro. <laughs> So good. This. This or that. Cake batter. Ooh. Too sweet. This. This or that. Okay. I can't believe this is true. Starbucks is now giving a golden frappuccino from their secret menu if you have a Starbucks tattoo. So I got an idea. I started by calling a professional body paint artist, showing her exactly what I wanted painted on my body, and paying her $10,000 for this realistic Starbucks drink tattoo. Then I headed over to Starbucks and asked, I heard that if I have a Starbucks drink tattoo like this, I get a free golden drink. Is that true? If this works, everybody has to subscribe. They called my name and it's a golden Starbucks drink. I'm being haunted. Let me explain. As you guys saw, I tried the Grimace shake and some strange things have been happening to me. It's been a few days since I tried it and weird stuff won't stop happening. No matter what I do, the color purple won't stop showing up. So I tried to take a bath to relax, but then this happened. <laughs> It's torture living like this. So I knew what I had to do. Catch Grimace and put an end to all of this. So I went back to McDonald's, got the shake, and took a sip, patiently waiting knowing he would come. And that's when I saw this. The only way I'll leave you alone is if you hit 22 million subscribers by the end of the month. Subscribe! They just made the worst decision of their entire lives. This is Zong and Nick, and together they have over 53 million subscribers. And I only have 21 million. I am super jealous and want to steal all of their subscribers. Bruh. My plan? Print out an official contract for Zong and Nick to sign to transfer me their YouTube channels. Now all I have to do is go up to them with this fake autograph cover and tell them I'm getting 100 YouTubers autographs for one of my subscribers. If this works, everybody watching has to like and subscribe. What are you doing here? How'd you get our address? Bruh. Hey guys, uh, basically, I'm just trying to get 100 YouTubers autographs for one of my fans. Do you guys mind signing? Uh, yeah, okay, come in. Okay, thanks guys. Well, okay, so I'm just, uh, Nate right here. Hey. And Nick's just your signature. Hey, all right. Okay, thanks boys. You guys have just officially transferred me your guys' YouTube channel. Wait, how? Dude, that's not fair. Hey, see you later. So, get up. Come on. Bruh. Let's go. Let's go. This is the best candy, and if you disagree, you're wrong. This or that? Pretty fire. Pop rocks. Bruh. This. This or that? This. Ooh. This or that? Ah. This. This or that? Bruh. This. Oh, no. This or that? Smell the rainbow. Bruh. This. This or that? Subscribe if you think this should win and like the video if you think these should win. Yellow's the best one. This. This or that? This. This or that? This. This or that? This. This or that? Bruh. This. This or that? It's so creepy! Hey, and for sure, I don't think I'll ever do this again. Since I was a kid, all I've ever wanted to do was win at a claw machine. And the other night, my girlfriend said this. I 
want you to win that for me or we're done. So I loaded up my card and got to work. Right. I couldn't let her down. I put my card in and proceeded to try again and again and again. She was getting impatient and looked disappointed in me. I was starting to get overwhelmed, so I told her I needed to take a pee break. But in reality, I was terrified. You know what? No. I got this. I came back more motivated than ever. Subscribe to give me some luck. My final attempt was looking promising until I got it. I turned around to give it to my girlfriend, but she was already with another guy with a better prize. I was crushed and... I can't believe he didn't notice. My friend Shudders is addicted to Prime. He won't drink anything else. So today I am going to swap out his Prime with Gatorade and see if he notices the difference. So when he got up to use the bathroom, I took his Prime and switched it with Gatorade. Just like it's hard to pull this off, it's also hard to like and subscribe at the same time. Then he finally came back from the bathroom and then he took a sip and... Yo, uh, how's your Prime? Girl's the best drink in the world. He didn't even notice. I can't believe Logan Paul sent me this. This morning I was playing with my girlfriend's kitty and I heard a knock at the door. I wasn't expecting anything, so this was really confusing. I looked and saw a suspicious package from Prime. No one was around, so I grabbed it and headed back inside. This package was impossible to open. Just like it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. After countless of attempts, I finally opened it. I then reached inside and found some confetti. A button that when pressed said subscribe. And finally when I got to the bottom, there was the rarest prime flavor known to mankind. So I had to call over my best friend Shudders, and we both loved it. After I finished my prime lemonade, my stomach felt a little off. I quickly made my way to the bathroom, and much better. Bro. But then I saw this. There was a note in the toilet from the owners of Prime. The note read, Thank you for finishing the entire prime. If you reach 21 million subscribers, we will create your own prime flavor. Subscribe! I'm gonna take this notebook into a five-star celebrity restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. They sat me down immediately and had water waiting for me. Right away, I took out the notebook for the waiter to see and started my critiquing process. Bruh. I think it was working because I was getting pointed out by their staff. I then placed my order. May I please do the chicken milanese? And they brought out the food so fast. It has to be because of the notebook. I have never tasted anything this delicious before in my entire life. Does it always taste like this? Or is it because I have the notebook? I think I see the manager talking to the chef. I started taking detailed notes and was about to ask for the check until the manager walked up to me and said this. We have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Our famous lobster golden pizza. I couldn't believe my eyes. And then they sent out every single dessert on the menu. After this incredible meal, the waiter dropped off the check and it was completely free. I can't believe they didn't notice. My dad and I have been coming to this restaurant for as long as I can remember. And honestly, this place almost feels like home. But it's missing something. And that's when it hit us. All homes have family photos on the wall. But this one doesn't. So my dad and I paid a professional photographer $10,000 to take a beautiful photo of us. We then rushed to a photo printing lab and got the photo put on a beautiful canvas. We then went back to our usual spot, snuck in the photo, and did what we had to do. This place now really does feel like home. This is the best day of the year. Customers can visit their favorite 7-Eleven and come with their own cup to receive any Slurpee for just $1.99. Slurpees are my favorite thing in the entire world. Bruh. So I knew what I had to do. Buy the biggest cup I could possibly find and go to 7-Eleven to get my lifetime supply of Slurpees. As soon as we got into the store, the employee came up to us and said, No question, is it gonna leak on my floor? No, no, it's not gonna leak, I promise. It was time to get filled. This was so crazy that even the 7-Eleven employees were taking pictures of us. Filling the bathtub was taking a while, but luckily some random people decided to help us. And after filling it up for literally over an hour, it was time to pay. How much is it? 218. 218. Perfect. So I carried the tub, loaded it into the truck, and brought it home for all my friends to enjoy. How many wood boards can me and my dad kick through? Down! <laughs> One down. Yeah! Mike, it's nothing. Two boards. Now we got three boards. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Six boards. Oh. <laughs> Ten boards. Yep. 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 Twenty boards. Subscribe if you think my dad's gonna win, and like the video if you think I'm gonna win. Subscribe. <laughs> Hurt!
Dirty boards! It's 30. Bro. There's no way. Sex! How did you do that? Hi! Yeah. This was so weird. This is called a miracle berry. And when consumed, it temporarily changes your taste buds so that sour tastes sweet. So today we're trying it out with the least sour to the most sour foods in the world. After taking this miracle berry, these candies should turn out sweet. Up first, we have the green apple. No way! This tastes like straight sugar! Food number two, the lime. This tastes so sweet, it's still working! Food number three. Extreme Sour Warheads. I got this. It literally tastes like candy! Bruh. And now for our last food item. The most sour of them all. Toxic Waste. Is it possible to draw a dotted circle? I doubt it, but I'm not gonna stop until my dotted circle looks like this. My first attempt looked like this. An eggplant. Bruh. Just like it's impossible to draw a dotted circle, it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. After trying every way I could think of to draw a perfect dotted circle, and I mean literally every way, Bruh. it still wasn't looking good. So I did my research and saw it's all in the pressure. I had to apply the perfect amount of pressure and rotate my arm like a clock. This was actually so close. Before I mastered my dotted circle, I had to challenge my friend. So I showed them the technique, and we got to work. Brandon tried. <laughs> what are you doing? Tori tried. <laughs> Joe tried. What? What is that? That looks like the dirty bubble. Shutters was so close. I know it's actually pretty good. Okay, okay. But finally, oh. I won. <laughs> This was a dumb idea. Today, my goal is simple. To break the law and get arrested. Why? Because the other day, I saw the most beautiful girl to walk this earth, and she was a police officer. Yeah. Obviously, I asked for her number. <laughs> it's 911. But there's no way I was gonna give up just yet. And that's when I realized, the only way she was gonna give me the time of day was if I got arrested. I waited for her to check me out, and Jay walked over to her. I just jaywalked. Time to arrest me. Honey, I don't arrest for jaywalking, but uh, here's a ticket. It was time to step up my game even more. It's illegal to park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. So I made my next move. No, looks like you still have space. Are you serious? I have to figure this out. So as I was drinking water, I purposely littered. Yes, yes, it's totally working. I'm gonna need some backup. Backup? Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, no, I picked it up. And that is why. How many wood boards can me and my dad get through? <laughs> Bruh. That's one. Yeah, two Two boards! Yeah. Four boards! Yeah. Yeah. Seven boards! Oh, yo, this is getting harder! Oh! I did that better than you! Bruh. Ten boards! Twelve boards! Alright! Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked them to swim in their pool? I'm asking millionaires if I can swim in their pool. I'm not a millionaire, I'm a billionaire. This house won't work. Bruh. After countless attempts... Can I swim in your pool? No. No. Heck no. I was starting to question if the word yes still existed. Can I please swim in your pool? No. Even at the drive through No. To make things even worse, it started pouring rain. I almost gave up Bruh. until this house. Excuse me. Wait. Jack Topper, can I swim in your pool? I guess. This is Jack, a 19-year-old who lives in a $10 million mansion in the Hollywood Hills. He even has a purple Lamborghini in his garage. After touring the house, I finally got to get into a millionaire's pool, and my mission was complete. There's no way this is true. Why does every toothpaste commercial say number one brand recommended by dentists? There's a million dentist recommended toothpaste. How can we trust them? Today, my goal is simple. To walk into every single dentist office I can find and find out which is truly the most dentist recommended toothpaste. Sensodyne, okay. This was going pretty well so far. I went dentist to dentist to dentist and received different responses. What toothpaste do I get? After hours of traveling, I ran out of dentists in Los Angeles. Angeles. So, of course, I took to the streets to get some more data. I asked people in the toothpaste sections of stores. Hi, what type of toothpaste do you recommend? I use Sensodyne. And even found a guy whose brother was a dentist. Colgate? Yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. And finally got the answer that Crest was the most dentist recommended. 
Today I got amazing news. Chipotle is now giving golden burritos from their secret menu if you have a Chipotle burrito tattoo. And this got me thinking. I've been able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card and a $10,000 golden burger. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic burrito tattoo. Then I found the nearest Chipotle and it was time for the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and asked, I heard that if I have a Chipotle burrito tattoo like this one right here, I get a golden burrito. Is that true? I was terrified while I was waiting. She was bringing out the manager to see if this was true. They then went to the back and came out with a special golden bag. And no way. It's a golden burrito. My friend Holy keeps stealing all my prime, but every time I ask him about it, he says this. Hey, that's my prime. What are you doing? Nothing, bro. What are you talking that's about? That's mine. I need to catch him red-handed because there's no way he's telling the truth. The plan? To booby trap my prime stash and hire my friend to pie Holy next time he attempts to steal my sacred drink. But when I went to drink some prime after my workout, my friend thought I was Holy and accidentally pied me in the face. I am bro! so sorry. Wrong person! Bruh. Time for phase two. The instructions were simple. To sit and record. Nothing could go wrong. Until I watched the footage myself and saw this. I now know that I cannot trust anyone. What happened to my prime? Time for phase three. To sit there myself. Only one problem. I fell asleep after sitting there for hours and Holy ended up taking all my prime. So when I woke up, all of it was gone. No, no, my prime. Mr. Beast scammed me. Yesterday, I ordered a Mr. Beast burger like I do every day. But this time, I noticed something was off. There was only one pickle on my burger. There is no way this could be right. The menu clearly says pickles with an S, meaning more than one pickle. Mr. Beast was running a scam. Bruh. Jimmy is better than that. It had to have been a mistake. So I ordered another burger and I couldn't believe my eyes. One pickle again. Since this is clearly a scam, I was left with one option to sue Mr. Beast. Bruh. So I began writing a formal letter to Jimmy. I then flew the letter over to Jimmy and awaited my reply. Weeks were passing and I hadn't received anything yet. I decided it was time to confront Mr. Beast face to face. So I FaceTimed him and all he did was tell me it was a simple prank. I'm gonna take this notebook into a fancy restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. I made a reservation at a five-star restaurant and kept a low profile for the first few minutes. They weren't paying much attention to me, so I brought out my secret weapon, the notebook. The waiters are talking about me right now. Since I took it out, they have not stopped checking on me. Okay, thank you. The main dish that came out was their famous steak, and it was amazing. So of course I had to take my detailed notes. Once I asked for the check, the head chef and the manager came out with tons of complimentary desserts. Is this stuff even on the menu? This is special made for you? After I had all of these amazing custom desserts, I opened the check and couldn't believe my eyes. The entire meal was free. Don't talk into the mic and I'll buy you whatever you want. Wait, Jack Doherty? Oh gosh, okay, um, how old are you? Uh, I like your shirt, man. Alright, okay, fine, you won. I know I won, this is literally my idea, you're copying me. Bruh. Okay, well, bro, you're just gonna buy me whatever I want. This was not looking good. Jack was walking towards all the most expensive stores. Uh, I think I need something more expensive. How do you even get more expensive than this? Trust me, I know it's fine. Oh no, until he brought me here. This place is gonna be too expensive. Bro, you, you owe me a lot. Bro, I have not made that much money off of doing the same videos as you to come here. Bruh. I have never been more scared in my entire life. Um, this one is... Perfect. 100k on my wrist right now. Let's get them both. You get one, Jack. All right, I'll pick the $62,000 one. Okay, whatever you want. I can't believe I actually just did that. Dude, this is so far. You can copy my videos anytime now. Bro. This is an oxygen bottle, which I bought for $20. I thought oxygen was free. Whatever. Bro. Today, we're going to find out if it's actually useful by doing as many push-ups as I possibly can in 60 seconds. I began by starting the timer and doing as many push-ups as possible without any extra oxygen supply and gone. Ugh. 32. Push-ups done. Now it's time to see if this thing actually works. Oxygen time. I started my timer and used the oxygen as needed. Would this improve my performance? Oh, gotta keep going. I was exhausted, but able to keep going. My 60 seconds were up, and I got... Woo! 84. 
Is Starbucks a scam? My grandma and I love Frappuccinos, but they're super expensive. So today I'm gonna make a $1 Frappuccino to see if it's better than the average one at Starbucks. Let's get frapping. So first I got the freshest milk I could find. Then I added chocolate syrup, some espresso, ice, and then some chocolate chips. And you can't forget one pound sugar. It's time to put it to the test. I took my grandma to Starbucks and told her we were gonna try their new Frappuccino. But in reality, I disguised my drink to look exactly like a Starbucks Frappuccino. It's time to see which one is better. Which one's better? This. Today, I'm gonna find out if a candle really does burn for 40 hours. This one started off easy. I mean, after all, I just had to light the candle and wait. Little did I know, after a few hours went by, I started to bond with the candle. His name is Jimmy. Yes, I named him. Bruh. In order to pass the time, we started doing some bonding activities, like making eggs, painting pictures of each other, and just spending quality time together. After a long day, I decided it was nap time. And after we woke up, we got ready for dinner at my favorite restaurant. But then, the following day came. I knew Jimmy's time Time wasn't much longer on this earth. The label said he only burns for 40 hours. It started to hit me. I was going to lose my best friend. His flame was looking faint. And that's when I heard it. Jimmy burned for over 50 hours. So I guess candles really do burn for that long. This was unbelievable. My dad and I have always loved ice cream sandwiches. And today, we're gonna find out the difference between the lowest and highest rated ice cream sandwiches. We started off with the lowest rated one. It was described as awful and even multiple reviews saying that they would never eat this again. These were horrible. Definitely a one out of 10. And my dad's stomach agreed. Right. So I headed to a famous spot known for having the best ice cream sandwiches in the world. And they even come inside of a donut. And the moment we've all been waiting for. These were amazing. A solid 9 out of 10. Today, I'm gonna find out if it's actually true that a lighter can last up to 50 minutes. I bought a new lighter and started the timer to find out Timmy's lifespan. Yes. I named it Timmy. Bruh. We started off the day with a nice meal and then a workout. We even read a book. Timmy loves books. Bruh. I decided we needed to do some yoga, but I soon realized how tired my hand was from keeping this spark alive. So I decided to get some tape to help out. And after carefully observing Timmy, he started to look really bad and ended up passing away before the 15 minute mark. I guess lighters don't last that long. Ben Azalar and I have beef. Let me explain. I checked my mail and saw that YouTube sent me my diamond play button. But when I read the back, it said, Ben Azalar? They sent me the wrong one. Bruh. So I went to Ben's house to tell him that YouTube made a big mistake. Ben, Ben, look, YouTube sent it to the so mine. And that's when this happened. <laughs> So we both called YouTube and they said They said they won't give me another one until I pass you in subscribers That's not gonna happen Bruh. I had to do whatever it would take My first idea was to buy a Hollywood tour bus And drive all around LA telling people to Subscribe to Topper Girl After driving around for hours My subscriber growth was still slow I'm not gonna pass Ben at this rate So I needed to go to my favorite place on earth to cheer me up And then it hit me I made a deal with the Transformers that they couldn't refuse You have a deal Subscribe! Subscribe to help me pass that. Today I got amazing news. McDonald's is now giving golden burgers from their secret menu if you have a burger tattoo. And this got me thinking. I was able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic looking burger tattoo. Then I found the nearest McDonald's and it was time to put this to the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and asked, I heard that if I have a Big Mac tattoo like this, I get a free Big Mac, is that true? Will it actually work? They called out my number and it came out with a special box. No way, it's a golden burger. Try and guess how much this bowl of ice cream costs. $5, $50. Today, my goal is to create the world's largest ice cream. This was going to be expensive. I started with my favorite flavor, oyster cream. Bruh. Growing up, my parents never let me get the flavors I wanted. So it was time to go off. The ice cream supply felt endless. I kept going and going and going, trying to perfect my swirl technique. Yogurt land, you hiring? Bruh. This was getting out of hand. Now time for the best part, the toppings. This Sunday ended up costing over a hundred dollars. 
Mr. Beast sent me this mystery box. The other day, my doorbell rang, and I opened the door to find this mysterious safe sitting outside my house. Clearly sent from Mr. Beast himself. What could be inside? I needed to find out. I tried throwing the safe, hammering the safe, using a drill to try and get it open, but still no luck. Ah! I will stop at nothing to find out. When all of a sudden, the doorbell rang, and this time there was a key outside my house, with a note attached to it that read, Sorry, forgot to give you the key. Signed, Mr. B. But the key was back! What am I- Oh. There, there's another one. <laughs> so I used the key and opened it. At first, there was nothing interesting inside, but then I came across these notes. Here are the pickles, because I was a few pickles short on my last Mr. Beast burgers, and the second note read, call me. I called Mr. Beast, and he just told me how cool he thought I was. I never thought this was possible. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to dunk, but I've never been tall enough to. And that's when I got an idea to do some research and find out the secret to running faster and jumping higher. And that's when I found these shoes called Jumpman. I had to get my hands on a pair. Luckily, I found them at a shoe store close by and paid $10,000 for them. They even had this guy dunking on them. It was time to put them on and start stretching because there is a myth that stretching makes you taller. Let me tell you, some of these stretches were not easy. I think I pulled a hammy on that one. It was now time to put the Jumpmans to the test. So I ran at the hoop with my full force, jumped, and... Oh! I can't believe I got away with this. Every restaurant has rules posted outside stating no shoes, no shirt, no service. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test. I started with no shoes and wanted to see if this restaurant would give me service. And they totally did. Now it's time for the real challenge. No shirt, but still get service. So I did the obvious. I hired a professional body paint artist to make it look like I was wearing a shirt, but I'm actually not. Let's see if this works. Hi. Thank you. Can we please have a table for two? Of course, no, please. Perfect, thank you. So far, so good. I ate at the restaurant and nobody noticed I was shirtless. Well, except for that one guy. What happens when you bring a pony inside a pet-friendly hotel? I was just wondering if I could get a room for tonight. What was that? A donkey? No, this? No, it's my dog. Bruh. No? Unfortunately, they denied pony, but that wasn't gonna stop me. So we went to the next pet friendly hotel. Hi there. I was just wondering if we could get a room for tonight. We saw you guys were pet friendly, so. For how many nights? Uh, just one night. It was working. Pony was so excited. Until this. So that means that she wouldn't be allowed? Oh, Tula. Pony was crushed. So I had to give her a cookie to keep her spirits high and positive for our next hotel. We went in confidently and asked. Do we have a room for tonight? Unfortunately, they said no too. Oh. But then, the manager met us outside and wanted to take photos with Pony. But I told him only if he gives us a room. And it actually worked! Let's go! This was the worst day of my life. Today, I woke up super hungry and then thought, Chick-fil-A sounds fire. So, I got out of bed, put my shoes on, and quickly ran to Chick-fil-A. I was so excited and then realized, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. I was so <laughs> devastated and never wanted anybody else to feel like this. So, I knew what I had to do. I waited until Chick-fil-A was opened again and then went up to order and said, Can I please do one of everything on the menu? I was ready to open my very own secret Chick-fil-A. There was going to be no hungry customers customers on this Sunday. So I camped out until it was the next Sunday and got to work. I set up the table, grabbed all the Chick-fil-A, and I even had my own custom Chick-fil-A uniforms. Within seconds, we already had customers. We even had a guy who wanted our drive through I'm good one, okay? How much do I owe you? It's free today. You're good. We'll see you what? later. Awesome. And even a dog. This was the best Sunday ever. As you guys know, I love McDonald's. But the other day, I was wondering, is it possible to just order a slice of cheese? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I tried to do it online. Yes, American cheese, no meat, no salt, no Big Mac bun, and we should be good to go. They just canceled my order. <sighs> Attempt number one failed. But then I thought of another idea, the drive-through. I ordered a Big Mac, but asked for nothing but cheese. I think this might have worked. I opened the box and found the grilled cheese. Bruh. I had to step this up and head inside of McDonald's. I tried the machine that was inside of the store. It took everything off the burger except for the cheese. After ordering, the workers literally called me over to make sure that they had the order right. I then got the order, opened the box, and it worked! 
Have you ever wondered what would happen if you set off every single alarm in the Apple store? Well, today, we're gonna find out. I started by playing it cool and gaining their trust, but this was taking forever. So, I had my friend Steven distract them while I went to every single device in the Apple store and set the alarms for all the exact same time. I was becoming very nervous, so I had to do something calming. <laughs> It was now showtime. The alarms are about to go off. The alarms were going off in three, two, one. People in the store had no idea what was going on. And the employees were so confused. And that's when I got caught. Go, 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 go. So as I was about to shower today, I remembered something. I'm more of a bath type of guy. And that got me thinking. It takes 5,437 Doritos to fill a bathtub. I wonder how many tablespoons of water it takes. I got right to work. And let me tell you, this was taking way longer than I expected. And then it hit me. The drain was open. So back to square one. After doing this non-stop for what felt like a lifetime. Well, except for that one break. I was exhausted, but so close. So I pushed myself and found out it takes exactly 26,352. This is Prime, and this is Gatorade. Today, we're gonna see which one of them will survive the highest drop. First, we have one foot. No damage done to either drink. Now we have five feet. The Gatorade already has a pretty big dent, and the Prime looks a little beat up, but definitely in better shape. Time for 10 feet. Gatorade this time actually looks pretty good. There's still a big dent, but the Prime bottle completely ripped. This is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Now time for the biggest drop of them all. 20 feet. We have our winner by knockout, Prime! Have you ever wondered how much money it would cost to buy every single gumball in a gumball machine? Well, luckily, I have nothing better to do. So I'm gonna figure this out for everybody. Besides, how long could it take? I started in a great rhythm, quarter after quarter, making great progress. And before I knew it, I already had 20 gumballs. But after doing the same thing over and over, this became exhausting. I realized I was going to be here a while, but I wasn't going down. And after hours of hard work, I figured out it cost $189 and 50 cents for an entire gumball machine. Go! Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, just hide, hide. Okay. Boomer we'll pops the first! Boomer we'll pops the first! Oh my gosh! Dylan to the lead! Dylan to the lead! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Oh no! Oh no, Topper! Don't get left behind! Don't get left behind! Oh my gosh! Go! Go! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, he's doing screws! Yes! Close, it's so close! Oh my god! Oh, one more! Ah! The world record for the longest kiss is 58 hours. And today, we're gonna break that. Since I finally have a girlfriend, I was ready to take on this challenge and become the next world record holder. Everything was going perfect until we got hungry. It then became very obvious there was no way to drive and go get food like this. So, we had our friend give us a ride. It was a little awkward, but we managed to get through it. We got to the restaurant and then ordered. But then, we faced our next obstacle. How can we eat? So, we just got a milkshake instead. So after this, we decided to go to the mall and do some shopping. And everybody and they mama was staring at us. Bruh. And after walking around for what felt like forever, I got a call from my friends. They really wanted to go ice skating, and my girlfriend wasn't too happy about that. So I promised her I would get her some flowers after. <laughs> Which probably wasn't the best idea. Bruh. This is why I'm a genius. Let me explain. Today, I'm going to try and get free snacks inside of a movie theater. The plan? To fake my girlfriend's pregnancy. Bruh. My first step was to buy a hollow bowl and fill it up with our favorite candy. Then I had to tape it to her body to make sure nobody would notice. This was 100% going to work. And now for the moment of truth. We bought the tickets and... It totally worked. This was the best movie ever. The other day, I found out that if you put a ring of salt around a Tesla, it makes the car temporarily unable to drive. And that left me with the idea of finding a random Tesla owner to test this theory on. And luckily for me, there was a Tesla parked right next to me. I found my target. So I patiently waited for him to get out of his car and walk away from it. It was go time. We had a small window of time to get this done before he came back to his frozen Tesla. Once we finished placing all the salt, it was time to wait in the car and get his reaction. After waiting over two hours, oh my gosh, he's coming, he's coming, he's right there. He was finally coming back to the Tesla. I've never seen anybody so confused. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, he's going to the car. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. He's literally not gonna be able to drive. Wait, what? 
What? It doesn't work? What happens when you bring a horse to a dog groomer? Hey, uh, I want to get my dog groomed. They brought out the entire team and even the manager to debate this request. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're certified. But as I suspected, they rejected me. Pony was so crushed after being rejected that she wouldn't even have her favorite drink from Starbucks. So we went to the next pet groomer. And after another debate, awesome here. <laughs> no. Pony was defeated. We galloped confidently to our next groomer. The most fancy pet spa in LA called Groom. Dog care with love. So I walked up and asked, I'm looking to get my, uh, my dog groomed. What's the name? Oh, this is Tulo. She's a big girl. Okay, right? let me get the groomer. It's time for the moment of truth. So, would you be open to grooming Tulo? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. It actually worked. Pony loved her bath, her haircut, and even her new French braid with the bow. I'm about to break a world record. This is one basketball. And this is 10. The 10 ball 30 pointer. This was my first attempt. The balls weigh over 50 pounds and sand it over eight feet tall. There's no way I could give up on this challenge. I was prepared to be here all day, all night, however long it would take. The one thing I knew is that I was going to be a world record holder. I don't care if I'm 80 by the time I'm done here. This was my 20th attempt. I kept trying and trying and trying and on my last shot if i make this everyone has to subscribe oh no that has to count these changed my life we all know crocs have two modes chilling mode and sports mode and i'm always running late so that got me thinking can putting my crocs into sport mode actually give me a speed boost well i guess it's time to find out so i grabbed my favorite crocs and headed to the nearest speed testing location after stretching and warming up for a bit it was time to put these crocs to the test i started with my crocs in chilling mode my first couple attempts ended crocless but i figured out how to keep them on and finished a hundred meters in about 15 seconds now it's time for what we've been waiting for sports mode instantly i felt weightless i finished 100 meters in 12 seconds that's way fast she couldn't even tell the difference my grandma and i love starbucks but sometimes it's a little expensive so my goal is to get her addicted to cheaper coffee i started by rushing over to the nearest mcdonald's to grab a one dollar coffee i then went to starbucks and stole an empty cup to disguise my mcdonald's drink i then picked up my grandma and took her to starbucks i told her the coffee was on me she liked that while my grandma was waiting for her drink i took the mcdonald's coffee and put it in the starbucks cup we she then went outside and I made the switch. She then took a sip of it and... How big am I? I'm actually 5'10". And today we're gonna find out how many bottles of Prime it takes to reach my height. One bottle. This tower was already getting tall. I wonder how many it's gonna take. Five bottles. Six bottles. <sighs> From the top. Bruh. Seven bottles. How does this stay? This tower is getting tall. I'm still taller than it. Hurry up, it's falling. Okay. 10 bottles. Oh. Oh! It's hard! No! No! How many layers of bubble wrap does it take to stop a human being? Oh! That's one! My dad is the test subject today. Let's see if he can get through two layers. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh! Too easy! Five layers! Oh! Oh! He got it! We now have 10 layers. You're gonna need some protection for this one. I don't think this is a good idea, Sean! Go for it! Oh! Oh, he got it! Let's go! 20 layers, Dad. You think you got it? You got me, Sean. Go for it. Oh, he's going! No! <laughs> One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah! One, two, One, two three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah! I bought a new pair of white shoes and decided today was the day to show them off. But then the unimaginable happened. My shoes, food waster. After trying to get them professionally cleaned and using thousands of dollars worth of machinery to try and clean the shoes, yeah. I had to accept that they were goners. It was time to move forward, so I got a new pair of white shoes. This means I have to protect them at all costs. So I went to hire some backup. I had the US Marines on the case to protect my babies. But right when I thought nothing bad could happen, wait! You saved my shoes. I got you, bro.
Starbucks always gets people's names wrong. So today we're putting that to the test. I went into the Starbucks and the worker asked me this. Perfect. What's your name? Topper. As I waited for my drink, I thought there was no way they were going to spell my name wrong. Timmy? Like Timmy Neutron? I thought maybe it was just this location. So I tried another Starbucks. This time giving them a name, they couldn't possibly mess up. Yes, Eric? E-R-I-C. Eric? Like the YouTuber? Bruh. This has to be some sort of joke. I started to lose hope standing outside my third Starbucks. But this time, I got an idea. I was gonna give them the hardest name I could possibly think of. Joaquin. And now for the moment of truth. They spelled it right! This happens every time. My shoes always get creased, and it's impossible to uncrease them. It was time to say goodbye to my old creased shoes, and time to buy some brand new ones. My goal? Survive a whole day without creasing my shoes. I started off by putting a ton of socks on to better fill out the shoes. I couldn't walk like a normal person, so I had to do the duck walk. Then came my first major obstacle, the escalator. Once I safely made it up, my legs were hurting, so I had the idea to call my strongest friend and have him carry me around. But apparently he was not as strong as I thought. Bruh. I tried everything I could to not crease my shoes. Besides my final move. The roly pulling. It was working. I survived the whole day without creasing my shoes. But I had not anticipated my sleepwalking. How could I have been so dumb? <sighs> I guess my sleepwalking explains why I'm so jacked. Bruh. I then woke up overcome with joy to see my beautiful... <laughs> I failed. This morning, I was woken up with terrible news. Bro, get up. You got a dentist appointment in 30 minutes. Why this was so terrible? During my last dentist visit, I promised my dentist I would floss every day. But I haven't flossed once. I knew what I had to do. Then, I ran out of time. Hurry up, you're gonna be late. From getting dressed to the waiting room, I was beyond nervous. Popper, we're ready for you. I followed him to my room and sat down knowing I was a liar. Hey, Topper. Ready for your checkup? I can't do this. I have to tell him. So have you been flossing? Like you promised? Of course, Dr. Gabe. I'm ready. Okay, let's take a peek. I was in too deep and didn't have the guts to tell him. And in just a few seconds... How could you? Doctor, it's not what it looks like! You should leave. The lesson today, never forget to floss. Today I am going to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast chocolate bar fountain. But first, I've got to make one. Bruh. So I went to the store and bought every single Mr. Beast bar I could find. I started by melting all the Beast chocolate down. And once they were all melted, it was time to pour it into the fountain. It's working! And now that the chocolate fountain is complete, I decided to make some treats for Mr. Beast. I made some chocolate covered strawberries, apples, more strawberries. Jimmy, I hope you enjoy these. Bruh. Once they were all covered in chocolate... I had to put them in the freezer so they would all cool down. And after waiting what felt like forever, it's now time to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast bar chocolate fountain covered fruit. I hope he appreciates this. I flew on the world's most expensive airplane seat that cost more than $100,000. The inside was amazing. And my seat was huge. They had two flat screen TVs, a salon with everything you need, and even a snack basket. Once it was time to order food, they handed me a menu with some delicious options. May I please do the steak, eggs, and an iced tea, please? While waiting, I checked out the bathroom and found this. I'm literally taking a shower on the plane. The food was then delivered by the nicest flight attendants, and I even saw... I think I see the pilots eating sushi. The sushi. After dinner, I was given a pillow and a blanket and decided to sleep the rest of the flight. The only downside? I'm down 100k. This is one of the worst rated motels in America. Out of 10 stars, it got one star, warning people to never stay here. But today, I checked in and went to go see my room. Oh my gosh, dude. No way this is actually a motel. The bed sheets had weird stains. What is that? The water was brown, and oh we even gosh. found two cockroaches in the shower. Dude, no, 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 no. We need to leave right I think now. We have to stay here. No. He was right. I had already paid for the room and the morning breakfast, so I had to stay the night. Once I woke up, I went to grab the breakfast, and this is what it was. Bro, I I'm not eating that. We're leaving. I can't believe I found this. The other day, I decided to go magnet fishing with the world's strongest magnet. I took it to a spot that is famously known for having the best magnet fishing find. I decided it was time to test my luck. My first attempt was unsuccessful, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I was at this so long that the rope started to burn a crack in the dock. After countless of attempts and trying my absolute hardest, I finally felt something heavy. I think I hooked something. I pulled as fast as I could with all 
all my might. But once I got it up, I couldn't even open it. So I had to take it home and use my most powerful tools. And finally, I found a note that read, If you are reading this, you are one step closer to finding the hidden treasure. I will tell you the secret hiding place if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! The other day, I had the world's most expensive gold steak. And this got me thinking, is there actually a difference between the most expensive steak and a $1 steak? Well, today I'm gonna find out. I ran over to the nearest steak restaurant and brought my $1 with me. I scanned the menu and quickly found out that the cheapest steak was over $1,000. I contemplated giving up on this challenge. But then remember, I have nothing better to do. So I went to the 99 cent store and found my $1 steak. I then got home and put it in the microwave. As I waited for it, I had to mentally prepare by doing yoga and becoming at peace. Was this steak gonna taste like absolute garbage? Or was it gonna be as good as that gold steak I just had? One way to find out. The steak was now ready, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for. This was amazing! Every time I go to the movies, I always get popcorn. But the last time I went, it just wasn't hitting the spot. And then I got an idea to sneak a five-star meal into the movie theater. My plan? Buy a baby carrier, order a five-star meal from one of the top-rated restaurants in LA, and cover it to make it look like I have a baby. Genius, I know. Bruh. So far, so good. I walked up with confidence, and they totally let me in and didn't even question it. This was the best movie I have ever seen because I was able to enjoy a five-star meal while watching. I am the biggest Harry Potter fan in the world. So much so that I even have a Harry Potter tattoo. And people have always told me I look like him. And then it hit me. Potter has all the letters Topper has. Harry is my brother's name. And James is Harry Potter's middle name. And that is my other brother's name. Am I Harry Potter? So I did the only logical thing. I went to the store, bought a broom, and was ready to test if I was a wizard. And now for the moment of truth... I guess not. Oh! What we? What was that? <laughs> oh! oh no, 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 no. It has to be done. <laughs> Bruh. Oh! That was pretty good. That was close. Oh! No, he got it. Make me cry when a hundred dollars. Once I was two and I came back from my dad's and then like my pet fish died and they had to flush him down the toilet. Bruh. Your videos, like every time I watch them, they make my day. I'm subscribed. You're subscribed? You're not gonna make me cry, but here's $20. Make me cry and win $100. You're never gonna hit 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Get out here, just take the money. Bruh. Dude, why does everybody say that? What happens when you leave a car covered in money in public? I have no idea, but today we're gonna figure it out. We started by covering my Tesla in dollar bills one by one. This was taking way too long. After four hours, it was finally time to place the last dollar bill. Now it's time to see how people react. But there was just one problem. We still had to drive the car into public. We could risk losing all the money on the way there. So this left us with no choice. But to send it, Bruh. everyone was staring. I knew that once we got to the spot, it would be absolute craziness. We parked and instantly people started taking money. We were losing dollar bills by the second. The car was getting swarmed. Even a kid took some. It was time to move to our next location. This spot was even crazier. The car went from being completely covered to almost empty within seconds. Until the security guard rolled up. Luckily, I was able to bribe him with some of the $1 bills. Hundreds of people had taken money off this car. And before I knew it, all the money was gone. Slice. I'll take it. <laughs> This is how you get a free burrito at Chipotle. I recently found out that if you order a bowl and ask for double of everything, they will give you enough food in that bowl for two whole burritos for only the price of one. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test and see if that really is true. Once it was my turn, I ordered a bowl and two tortillas on the side. I then asked for both white and brown rice and half chicken and half steak. I proceeded to get double toppings on my bowl as well. Did ordering double of everything actually end up saving me more money? Well, it was time to get home and figure this out. And for the moment of truth, it totally did. This burrito was heavier than this five pound weight. Three, two, one. 
Okay, bro. Yo, you think you can do that blindfolded? Easy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here, throw this on. Come on. You know who I am, bro? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, right. Bro, that's already so impressive. Too easy. Make it go faster. You want it faster? All right, ready? I'm gonna hit it. Let's go. Oh my god, go. Oh my, bro, this is insane. Let's go. Woo. Oh, oh, bro, that was a close one. Oh my god. Crazy. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Wow, holy. Oh my gosh, dude, you're so good at this. Whoa. Do you think you can do that blindfolded? Oh, well, of course. For oh, sure? Yeah. All right, here, throw this on. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, holy, you're so good at this. Dude, how is it not hitting you? Oh my gosh, that was close, that was close. All right, ready, I'm gonna hit it. Go faster, go faster, go. Holy, go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, bro, you're good. Yo, dude, take off your blindfold. That was insane. We did it. We did it. Today I got the best news of my life. Free Subway for life, it'll cost you a 12 by 12 inch tattoo of a foot long thug. So I did the obvious. I called a professional body paint artist and was given very specific instructions to pull this off. Number one, shave your chest. Number two, pay me a thousand dollars. After both of these were complete and the sandwich was on my stomach, it was go time. Okay, so I heard online that if you have a Subway sandwich tattoo, that you get free Subway. One second, I have something for you. This car gives you free subway for life. Oh my gosh, dude, no way! I have a massive crush on this girl named Hannah. And last week, I tried to be smooth with her. So, do you ever think we'll be more than friends? Yeah, Tomber. If the world was ending. I was devastated. But then that got me thinking. What if I convinced her that the world was actually ending? So that I could finally date the girl of my dreams. The first part of the plan was to invite her over. Hey, once we were on the couch, I turned on the TV, and it was time for the moment I had been waiting for. So, I gave my friend the green light. Command has detected the launch of 12 nuclear what? missiles aimed towards the mainland United States. Oh, 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 what should we do? Bruh. It was totally working. How could this plan possibly go wrong? Until... Wait, what? The video ended. You said it was the only way! I've always wanted to do this. This morning, I woke up and went to shower, but then realized my building's water was turned off. I was totally crushed, but then it hit me. It's raining outside. The plan, make a giant sign that says splash me, then grab my soap and Crocs and go outside for my free shower. Oh my God. This was totally working and it's completely free. Yeah! I feel squeaky clean. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked to sleep over? <laughs> that kid on TikTok that wastes food. No, 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 no! After 10 hours and almost getting in, Me puedo dormir en tu casa. We still couldn't get a yes until this house. I've actually seen quite a few of your videos. Really? Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Do you mind if I sleep over here? Come on, come on in. This place was incredible. It had a volleyball court, a golf course, and if that wasn't already cool enough, they had a water slide. Oh! The owners were so nice and even gave me the master bedroom to sleep. Today I'm going to be busting myths at the world's most expensive theme park. So for this first one, in Harry Potter world, we all know about their famous butter beer. But if you ask for the... Can I please do one wizard? Thank you so much. They bring this out. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. Myth confirmed. <laughs> Next, in Simpsons land, I heard that you can trade a massive donut to one of the workers and they'll let you cut the line. Is that true? Yes, thank you so much. Myth confirmed. I couldn't even believe this final one. In Jurassic World, there is a myth that all the dinosaurs on the ride are made of real dinosaur bones. So I had to ask a worker. Not impossible. So yeah. Myth confirmed. 
how long does it take to bake cookies in a hot car? Today it is blistering hot and over a hundred degrees outside. So I knew I had to test this out. Now we just sit in the car and wait. Ugh, how much longer? Bruh. It's barely been an hour and the cookies look like this and I look like this. We're not even done cooking. What do we do to make the car hotter? I have an idea. <laughs> This isn't gonna work! Bruh. After another two hours went by, the temperature in my car was only rising. And then it hit me. I don't even have to be in the car to see them cook. Bruh. I was so hot that I started to hallucinate. Subscribe to Topper Gills. Five hours had now gone by, and it was time to check on the cookies. Alright, let's see how these look. Oh my gosh! They're actually super cooked! Mission accomplished. I had to be the first person to try this. Young Bricks Pizza is now giving a golden pizza from their secret menu if you have a pizza tattoo. So I knew what I had to do. I have successfully been able to get a golden burrito from Chipotle and a golden Big Mac from McDonald's. So now it's time to see if I can successfully get a free golden slice of pizza from David Dobrik's Pizza Restaurant. To do this, I had to reach out to a professional body paint artist and explain to her exactly what I wanted. It took hours to paint this slice of pizza onto my stomach and we had multiple distractions along the way after what felt like an eternity the pizza was done and it was time to pay the body paint artist then i rushed over to dobrik's and waited until it was my turn and asked i heard that if i have a dobrik's pizza tattoo like this i get a free slice of golden pizza is that true i then nervously waited until they called my name and it worked it's a golden slice of pizza the other day, I was wondering, what actually happens to your poop after you flush it? Well, I have nothing better to do, so let's find out. I started by grabbing an air tag and making an apple smoothie. <laughs> Get it? Bruh. Anyways, I drank the smoothie and waited until it was time. This air tag was about to embark on a journey it did not know was possible. It was now time to track it. Ooh, this thing was traveling way faster than I expected. It has to be moving through the pipes or something. I followed it around LA until I ended up here. And just as I was about to give up, I realized it never left my body. I was tracking myself all day. Bruh. So there's a bunch of secret Disneyland myths, and today we're gonna bust all of them. There is a myth that Disneyland has special air vents that smell like desserts in order to make people hungry and buy their food. So we sniffed around and found this. Dude, this literally smells like cotton candy. Myth confirmed. There is a myth that Disney has a basketball court inside Matterhorn Mountain. So I found an employee and had to ask. Is that true? That is true. Really? There's actually one in there? Yeah. The next myth is that if you give a Disneyland employee a churro, they'll let you cut the line. If I give you this churro, can I cut to the front of this line? I'm sorry, I can't, man. No? Okay, well, myth busted, but at least I got a churro. How many balloons does it take to make an iPhone float? Well, I guess more than one. Three? No. Six? No. Ten? Not even close. Maybe 15 will do the job. 15 balloons. Boy, I was wrong. At this point, I was unsure if this was even possible. I increased the amounts of balloons by increments of five. 25, this has to work. Oh, 30 balloons. Oh my gosh. I was determined to find out how many balloons this would take. 35 balloons, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's going down. 50 balloons. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. Yo, it's Yo. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. to get their own official drink at Starbucks. The other day I ordered at Starbucks and they told me that this was my 10,000th drink order, which puts me in their top 100 customers in the world. Perfect. Bro. I've tried every syrup, every type of milk, every topping. I even call myself the Starbucks king. Bro. And I have confidence that this is the best drink ever. So I emailed Starbucks to see if they would give me my own drink on the menu. And after waiting what felt like forever, I got an email and it read, Dear Topper, we would like
would love to give you your own drink at Starbucks, but you must have 20 million subscribers first. Subscribe! How many free things can I get on my birthday? <laughs> first stop, Dunkin' Donuts. Since it's my birthday, can I get a free donut? Sure. This is awesome. <laughs> Whatever I get for free, I will be giving back to the community. Up next, I headed to Starbucks. Today is my birthday, can I get a free drink? I was getting birthday wishes all day. Now on to our next location. I went over to Chipotle and they gave me free chips and guac. And even Domino's gave me a free pizza. And just when I thought I couldn't get any more free stuff. Bro, what if? Should I ask? Uh, you have to. I saw a Lamborghini. Since it's my birthday, can I take a ride in your Lamborghini? Sure. No way it actually worked. Hey, super random question for you guys. When's the last time you've been to Disneyland? 38 years, 38 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually have two extra tickets with me today. Do you guys want to come with me to Disneyland? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Wow. Magnanimous of you. Yeah, you guys want to come? Yeah. We'd be honored. All right, come on, let's go. Wow. Wow. Go for it. There you go. Cheers. Woo! What'd you think of the ride? Man, that was great. I only had to change my underwear two or three times. <laughs> oh. Here you go. Oh, of course. Thank you so much, Topper, for today. Really? It brought back so it's many great memories. A lifetime of memories in one day. Oh, of course, yeah. guys. I feel uh, 99 again. How many pieces of saran wrap can a human get through? Yeah. What is too easy? Five. Five was not that easy, and now we got ten. Fifteen layers. I don't know about this one. Fifteen layers, take two. Give me that. Let's go! Fifty layers. Let's get it. Today I am going to find out how many strokes it takes to finish a Sharpie. This may sound crazy, but the internet says a Sharpie will literally never run out. I beg to differ. I took this Sharpie everywhere I went, and I mean everywhere. I was honestly starting to believe that the internet may actually be right. For the last few weeks, I've spent a lot of alone time with the Sharpie, and honestly, I think I'm gonna miss him. Because I found out it takes exactly 2,386! I was having the best day ever until my phone died. I had no way to copy, uh, I mean, create my content. Yeah. But then I realized I have this, a solar panel phone charger. Both my phone and the charger are dead. And the only way for me to get home is Uber. The sun is already charging it, but I need to get closer. Then I got an idea. I went to the nearest lifeguard tower as fast as I could, but it still wasn't charging fast enough. And then it hit me. I had to get as close to the sun as I possibly could. And now for the moment of truth. Oh my God. It's Working. How many pieces of toilet paper can a human get through? Let's yeah. go. What is too easy? Four. Let's go. Yeah. Light work, baby. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Forty. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. A hundred layers. I'm honestly pretty nervous about this one. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh. I can't believe I made that. A thousand layers of toilet paper. I feel like I'm about to play some football. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally holding me. I can't believe this happened to me. The other day, I was at the park when I saw the cutest squirrel, and I needed to take a photo of it. As I reached for my phone, it fell out of my pocket right through the storm drain. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was crushed, but then realized I had to get my phone out of the drain. Bruh. So I had to use my resources, my gum and my shoelace. Bruh. As I tried to get the phone, the gum wasn't sticky enough, and the shoelace wasn't sturdy enough, Bruh. so I needed to find some stronger support. Attempt number two, the stick. After carefully lowering the now more so chewed gum, the stick wasn't long enough. So now for my final attempt. Finding a $5,000 magnet off the internet in hopes of getting my phone back. After I met up with the guy and got the magnet, I lowered it down and... I got it! I got it! It was totally working! Oh, let's go! I did it! But then realized that the magnet completely wiped the phone and it doesn't work anymore. Bruh.
Today, I'm going to see if I can survive an entire day with only eating free samples. We started our journey at Panda Express. Oh, you guys want to eat samples? What? Bruh. Okay, oh. no worries. But unfortunately, things did not go as planned. We decided to head to Chipotle. Can I order a sample of the steak? They only gave me one piece. Just Dude, we have to go somewhere else. I'm gonna be so hungry all day. We made our way over to Sample Heaven, Costco. They gave us chili, taquitos, tea, and so many other foods. This was literally the best stop ever. I even got a little workout in Bruh. and they had some protein for me. We may actually be able to survive this challenge. After we absolutely pigged out at Costco, the next move was obvious. Time for some dessert. So we went to Yogurt Land and they said, well, I guess strawberry water is a good dessert. She said yes. This is Annie, and I've been talking to her for a couple of months now and decided today was the day I was going to ask her the big question. People make it their mission to take the craziest photos on Splash Mountain, and today I was going to become one of those people. I planned this for weeks in advance with my friends and even practiced at home to get the timing right. The day came where me and my friends were going to make this a day she would never forget. I had the surprise in my backpack all day, and Annie had no idea what was about to happen. We had Annie sit in the front, so there is no way that she could possibly see what we were doing behind her. The time came for the big drop. We had everything set and... I was hoping that the wind and water didn't ruin my surprise. I rushed her to view the photo before it went off the screen and I asked, will you be my girlfriend? She was completely shocked and... I just took the biggest risk of my life. This year, I got a Coachella ticket, but didn't have a place to stay. So my plan, just like I've done successfully before, I'll be asking millionaires at Coachella if I can stay with them. Hi, can I stay with you just for Coachella? No. Bruh. This was brutal because it was so hot outside. No. I was now wondering once again if the word yes even still existed. No. Absolutely not. Until this house. Can I stay with you for Coachella weekend? Is that a yes? I think so. Bruh. Voldemort's house was actually very nice. And there was lots of fun activities to do. It had a basketball court, a golf course. It even had a pool. Shout out Voldemort, because this was the best weekend ever. According to the internet, it is impossible to tear a sheet of paper more than seven times. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I grabbed the paper, studied it, reminded it who it was messing with, and got to work. After the first few tears, I was getting pretty confident I could tear this more than seven times. But suddenly, the paper decided to toughen up and wasn't budging easily. I was giving it everything I had. I wasn't gonna let the paper beat me. So I picked things up a notch. And after the strength the Spider-Man mask gave me, I defeated it. So I was scrolling on my phone and saw all my friends were doing such cool stuff over the weekend. Like traveling, partying, driving supercars, and even meeting their favorite YouTubers. Bruh. Missing out on everything. My problem? I don't have friends. Bruh. I didn't get a single text this weekend, and I was bored out of my mind. I knew what I had to do. Make everybody jealous. So I rented a Hollywood movie set to fool people into thinking I was taking a private jet across the world. Alright, bro, get off me. Get off the then I set up a green screen so I could convince people that I landed in Paris. Just made it to Paris, guys! Yeah! My plan was totally working. Everyone was believing I was cool. This was the best day ever. Even my dad called me. Hey, dad. Are you in Paris? Yeah, yeah, I just got here. It's incredible. That's funny because your location says you're home. And just like that, my plan fell apart. My phone started blowing up. Everyone knew I was a fraud. What I learned, I will never be cool. <laughs> I had a crazy prank in mind, and I needed X-Shot's new blasters to make it This happen. detail is amazing. With state-of-the-art printing technology, you can now choose your skin of your X-Shot blaster. Choose different, choose X-Shot skins. Steven, stop throwing stuff at me. What do you need? There's no one else here. Steven, come on, that has to be you. What are you talking about? It's just me and you, and it's coming from behind me. Who is it gonna be? The mannequins? Probably it's not me. What's gonna try? 
Fine, Steven. Let's see how you like it. Action. Some ketchup. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hi kids, okay here, I got you guys slushies. This one's for you. What? And this one's for you. Oh, mom, Red's my favorite. Thank you so much. Mm. Mom, you gave him the red one. You know red's my favorite color. That's not fair. Mom specifically handed me the red one, so the red one is mine. Ah! This is exactly why mommy doesn't buy you guys things. It's literally a slushy. Just drink it and be happy. It's like the same thing. Please! I hate the blue one. Can I please just get the red one? You can't have it. You're not taking my slushy today. I'm not dealing with this today. Just swap and figure it out your guys' selves. Bro, come on. No way. You're not taking my slushy. Oh, you literally just want to see me suffer. Can I please just have a sip? No sips today. Oh. Yo, I cannot wait to see this movie. Me too. It's going to be such a good movie. I actually can't wait. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, don't leave without me! Uh, I want to go to the movies too! What? No way! You're not coming with us! You have to take me! I really want to go! No, you always come with us! This is just our thing this time! You're not coming! Bro, just let him come with us! I, I really don't care! No, he can't come with us! He's so annoying! Mom! They're going to the movies and you're not letting me go! Oh my gosh! Sweetie, are you serious? Uh, let mommy fix this! Sweetie, you have to take your little brother to the movies with you. Oh, mom, I'm not bringing him. We take him everywhere. If you don't take him, then you're not going to the movies. Oh my gosh. Mom, you're so annoying. Thanks, mom. I'm not buying you anything. You better have your own money because you're not getting a thing from me. I am so excited for this movie. Wait, uh, what, what are we seeing again? Mom, do you have any snacks in your purse? Oh, sweetie, I think I have a fruit roll up at the bottom of my purse. Here, take a look. Oh. Mom, your purse is so heavy. Yeah, I don't feel any- Oh, headphones? Wow, Mom, these are really noise canceling. Sweetie, I know, I know. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, what the- Oh, orange juice. Mommy can't go low on vitamin C now, sweetie. Of course I have my orange juice. Yeah. Really, Mom? A tennis racket? Mommy never knows when the girls are going to call her to the club. I always have to be ready. Yeah. A blonde wig, Mom? You're brunette. Sometimes my grades are showing and I need a little cover-up. Yeah. Wait, Mom! You don't even work out! <gasps> Sweetie, are you calling me fat? Oh! Here it is, Mom! Found it! Thanks! Great, sweetie. Just make sure you put everything back in mommy's purse. Mom, I don't think this is all gonna fit back in here. Sweetie, it can fit. How do you think it all got in there? Ugh! <laughs> Oh, 
Make me come to the beach. It's raining, it's windy. What time are we going home? Oh, guys, I'm not leaving until I'm done tanning, okay? We're not leaving this island until I am the color of a chicken nugget. Now, please. Uh, 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 hey, uh, do you want to build a sand castle with me? What? Why not? Wait, uh, w w will you at least watch me build a sand castle? Okay, ready? Watch. It's a big castle. Yo, did anybody bring any snacks? What? Why not? Oh, how am I supposed to be here? I have to have at least one carb an hour. Yo, it's good. No, no, I'm just putting on my socks right now. I'll be downstairs in like two seconds. Shoes. Whoa, these shoes are so cool. Ooh, these are really cool. Hey, I saw those first. I grabbed them first, so they're mine. Oh, I can't wait to wear them. Oh, I really want those. I'm gonna use reverse psychology on them. Whoa, these are so cool. Wow, these are like the coolest shoes I've ever seen. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't get those other ones. These are way cooler. These are gonna be so good on the basketball court. Uh, th they're gonna make me so much taller. These are so good. Uh, y you know what? I, I actually kind of want those. You can't have these. These are mine. Please, I I'll trade you these. Well, uh, I guess I'll trade you, but this is the only time I'm trading you because I really like these. Yes, these are gonna look so good on me. Let's go. Those other shoes are so ugly. <laughs> No way, no way, no way. No way. Oh my gosh. Come on, are you 
kidding? Dude, I just got these clothes. Oh, oh my gosh. What? Bro, I found something in the water. What is it? Look at this. Dude, what? I don't know. It was wrapped in caution tape. Here, take it. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's not breaking open. Look at this. It's like dent. It's not coming out. Three, just two, pull, just pull, 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 pull. Oh, dude. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, it opened, ready? Open it, open it. No! No! No, please, no! No! No, no, please! I've been playing merge stories, and I am currently raiding a kingdom. That is when I got the ultimate prank idea to raid my neighbor's kingdom. I had to be incredibly quick and extremely stealthy to make sure I was not noticed. I'm in, and it's raid time. I started by raiding my neighbor's wood. Just like in merge stories, when you raid resources to grow your own kingdom. Then I had to destroy his kingdom once and for all. Oh my gosh. Yo, Steven, come here. Bro, did you just raid my backyard? <laughs> Make sure to download Merge Stories for free right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, ah! wait, see- Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, 
sorry. Yeah, I know my lights aren't working. No, it's so frustrating. Well, I'm gonna be there soon. Who can hit the hardest? Oh! oh. 